The frequency of summertime thunderstorms, coupled with Southwest Florida's myriad of outdoor recreational pursuits, led Lee County Commissioners in 2013 to approve funding to place an early lightning alert system at youth athletic facilities and swimming pools that Lee County Parks and Recreation owns and manages. The system, called WeatherBug Total Lightning Network, uses a cloud-to-ground lightning detection network. It blasts outdoor alerts for mass notification, mobile alerts for staff to use in the field, internal alerts for offices and facilities, and online alerts to show area weather for park patrons and staff to stay informed. These systems go live during normal park hours and for special events. The installation complements Lee County Parks and Recreation's goal to provide safe and quality facilities. When the system detects lightning within 10 miles, a horn sounds and a strobe light activates. When the horn blast or strobe light is observed, everyone must immediately seek shelter. Games or swimming will be suspended until the all clear signal is received. When the system no longer detects a threat, three five second blasts from the horn will sound and the strobe light will stop. This is the signal that it is safe to return to the activities. One of the, the neat features also about the weather bug system is we have it posted on our website and you can log in to the facilities and see when the countdown clock is for uh, when the last time the closest lightning strike was to that area. Park visitors should always assess weather conditions before going outside and be prepared to take appropriate action to ensure their safety. I don't have to worry about making that call as a parent. I don't have to worry about the coaches making that call because their judgment may be different than mine. It is a universal system that's used for all kids and so it makes me feel much safer, especially when I'm not in, in the immediate area. It doesn't have to be raining for lightning to strike. Almost all lightning will occur within 10 miles of its parent thunderstorm. Thunderstorms can produce several types of hazardous weather, including large hail, damaging winds, flash floods, and tornadoes. However, lightning is the number one cause of weather-related fatalities in Florida, averaging 10 fatalities and 40 injuries a year statewide. The technology employed by Lee County Parks and Recreation minimizes potential dangers associated with summertime storms and lightning events for residents and visitors alike.